and here he is now with us on SportsCenter. Trey Mancini, what was the best part of that Zoom surprise from your teammates? I was not expecting that at all. Um, so we, we just had a meeting to kind of go over any updates uh, with what's going on in the league. And, and um, yeah, they planned that without me knowing. So it was really cool and, and uh, really funny to see some of the things they came up with. Uh, I didn't know my teammates are that creative. <laughs> uh, <laughs> explain to our Sports Center viewers, Trey, what's your uh, average day like in terms of treatment? How often is that? And then the days following the treatment. So my treatments are every other week. So I started April 13th, which was a Monday. So I go every other Monday um, for 12 treatments. So um, my next one, my next treatment will be my third one, which is this coming Monday. And uh, I feel kind of tired, I'd say, and, and um, maybe a little queasy for a few days. And then by the time the weekend comes, I usually feel much better. And, and I try to take advantage of that off week and, and um, you know, work out a little bit and, and start doing some things to, to try to keep my strength up. What happens during the treatments exactly? What are they doing? So during the treatments, I have an infusion um, of uh, one of them is called 5-FU and the other is full Fox. And they're just uh, two different chemo uh, treatments that are used um, for, for somebody with that had colon cancer. So um, they're just trying to um, kill any cells that might have escaped before my surgery. So I was diagnosed with stage three colon cancer. And even though the doctor was able to remove the whole tumor, you never know if, if any of the cells can escape anywhere else. So it's almost like an insurance chemo is kind of what they call it. So um, that's kind of a little bit what I'm going through. How long will the treatments continue? So my treatments are going to go till September 14th is the last scheduled one. Uh, so I've done two already and, and tend to go. How has the COVID-19 pandemic affected uh, the treatments themselves and even the, the ancillary things surrounding your treatments, just going to get it and coming home? Yeah, so it's an interesting um, time to be getting chemo right now because you have to go to the hospital by yourself, which is how it should be. You want to limit uh, the amount of people that go into the hospital. And I don't want any of my family or, or friends and, and all my loved ones to be at risk and don't want anybody else at the hospital to be at risk, too, because obviously it's a high risk area itself to be at the hospital. So, um, yeah, you, you go by yourself. So I've just been watching TV shows during the infusion and it passes the time pretty quickly. Mm. How's your mental health, uh, Trey, your mood, uh, your spirits as you try to cope with this diagnosis and obviously trying to squelch it completely? It's been really good. I'm surrounded by such incredible people. I've got, so, I mean, the best family, friends, girlfriend. I mean, I, I can't say enough about everybody in my life and and uh, my teammates and the, the Orioles organization has been amazing throughout all this. They've made a really difficult time a lot better um, on, on my family and I. So, um, you know, having great people around me is, has helped me tremendously throughout all of this. Uh, in your Players' Tribune piece, you wrote something that really caught my eye. Quote, sometimes I'd have to go to Mass on Sunday, this is when you're a little kid, in my baseball <laughs> uniform so we could leave after communion to go to a doubleheader. There is no way my mom would ever let me wear a baseball <laughs> uniform to Mass. We come from two different eras. But, but I see it now. T t <laughs> taking my kids to, to Mass, I've saw that from time and time again throughout the years. Uh, baseball has been your life, man. Um, what thoughts go through your mind when you think of the word cancer? You finally signed that big contract this year after really grinding in the minors. You weren't a big bonus baby kind of uh, drafted player. So, uh, you know, what's baseball mean to you and what it's meant to you during these last uh, month or so? It means the world to me. I, and it's so strange for me and I'm sure all the other guys in the league. I mean, this is the first time that it's May 5th and we're not playing baseball probably since we were five years old. So um, it, it's weird for all of us, but especially, yeah, when you hear the word cancer, I mean, my only worry in the world at the time was opening day facing Garrett Cole. Mm. Um, that was what all my, all my whole mind was there. And that's what I was preparing for because um, I've had no success against him at all. So um, that was a tall task in itself. So um, yeah, that all went out the window whenever I got the diagnosis. But uh, baseball, I think, has really helped prepare me to, to fight this thing head on. Um, you know, it's as we all know, it's such a tough game and such a mentally taxing game at times. And, and I think it's really helped me the last couple months. Um, I, I accepted it pretty quickly, what was going on, and, and I was ready to, to face it head on from the start. And you don't think there's any chance you could play this year, even with a couple treatments left, possibly play through those last couple treatments? What's your what's your mindset? Yeah, and the players' trade being police, I did say probably in that sentence, and that's I didn't want to totally close the door on that being a possibility. I, I think I could. Um, I know the treatments can take a toll on you more and more as they go on, but 
um, I, I think there's a chance, especially if I can keep working out throughout all this and, and um, try to keep my, my strength up and, and everything like that. I think a good goal would to maybe be appearing in a game, especially if the season were to be extended. Um, that, would, that would probably help my chances too. Well, you look great. Uh, you sound great. And really, your spirit sounds really positive. You're a great role model, I think, for anybody dealing with anything out there watching SportsCenter right now. Uh, man, you, it really looks like you're handling this well and you have a great support group. And, man, we're rooting for you hard here at SportsCenter. And I can't wait to do one of your highlights. Big year last year and looking forward to your next home run, Trey. Thanks, John. Thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.